think it might be a little bit too dark. Well, I hope you can still see me. But today I'm imaging the Omega Nebula using the 12 nanometers uh, H alpha filter. And with that said, uh, I came across a few issues trying to stack the H alpha frames from uh, last night. So yeah, I'm going to show you my problem and uh, how I fixed it. <laughs> seeing the first image uh, on the computer from the H alpha filter I was blown away by the amount of details uh, I saw in that image and I think that the images taken with the H alpha filter are really a big big uh, cherry on top of your ice cream so I was uh, very excited uh, to get those images stacked and like usually I imported my images into Secretor uh, and started to stack and then I noticed that the compositing uh, on each image uh, felt so I didn't waste too much time and uh, tried to stack them in the deep sky stacker and the stacked image came out uh, horrible you could clearly see the dithering pattern on the stars so I searched a bit uh, on the web and found out that the problem is that uh, all of the data in the H alpha frames is in the red channel and because almost uh, all of the stacking programs are stacking your images not just uh, image by image but uh, it divides uh, all the channels and because there is uh, no data in the blue and the green channel uh, the stacking software can't uh, stack the images properly so in theory that means that you would have to go to each individual image and separate the channels and use just the red channel to stack your images and that's a tedious process to do over and over again but luckily there's a simple way to overcome this problem so let's uh, jump to the computer and let me show you how to fix this issue Okay, so let me quickly show you what I was talking about. So here I got a single exposure from the H alpha filter. And if I go to channels, you can see that if I go through each individual channel, there is no data in the blue and the green channel. And this is an example from a stacked image. And you can see it's pretty much unusable. Now if we go to Deep Sky Stacker, here's an option that combines all the channels and stacks them. So after you got your images imported, just go to settings and raw and check the create super pixel. Hit apply and OK. And then next is register pictures. Let's go to stacking parameters and lights and make sure you have per channel background calibration selected. Hit OK. Go to recommended settings and here just click use the super pixel mode. Then just hit OK. And again OK, OK. And after Deep Sky Stacker is finished, your master H alpha file should be stacked properly. And here's how my master H alpha frame uh, turned out. So again, if I go to channels and if I turn off the red channel, you can see there is nothing to see in the green and the blue channel. So I'll only use the red channel later in the post process and I use it as a luminance layer. Now before I end today's video, 
uh, I just wanted to ask if uh, any of you had a similar problem using the H-Alpha filter and how did you resolve the issue? I think I'll go for a bit uh, longer exposure time next time so maybe I get uh, a little bit more signal in the green and the blue channel but yeah that's uh, kind of it for this video so if maybe you got uh, a better solution uh, please do share it in the comments below or even share your first experience uh, using uh, the H-Alpha filter because I would uh, really like to know your thoughts but uh, as always if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section and uh, I'll see you again next time take care bye Thank you.